Hey everyone, going to make a quick video uh, proving the triangle inequality on the real numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to prove that the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y, commonly referred to as the triangle inequality. So I just want to make a note here that if x and y have the same sign, you have equality. What I mean by that is, you know, if x is 2 and y is 3, that's 5 on the left-hand side, and it's also 5 on the right-hand side. Same if they're both negative. Now, if they're opposite signs, that means really the left-hand side is a subtraction, right? It's the difference of, kind of the difference of x and y. It's, the subtract, it's a subtraction. So, then absolute value of x plus absolute value of y, well, that's always just the sum of the number. Like if x is negative 4 and y is 5, the left-hand side is 1, whereas the right-hand side is 9. So basically, one side says if you add two numbers together, the left-hand side, that's all. Then the other side says, what if you just add the number ignoring pluses and minuses? Well, if you ignore pluses and minuses, you're adding in uh, the positive numbers, and it's always going to be bigger. So opposite signs give you a strict inequality. Um, there's a lot of interesting interpretations of this, but most of those belong to more exotic metric spaces than R. So the basic facts that you need to prove this are that for all R and S in the real numbers, r is less than or equal to its own absolute value. Negative r is less than or equal to its own absolute value. Doesn't matter if r is positive or negative, like you could take r to be negative 1 and negative 1 is less than or equal to 1. Similarly, negative negative 1 is less than or equal to 1. It always works. And you're also going to need that if s is less than r and the negative of s is less than or equal, or is less than r. This implies that the absolute value of s is less than r. So if both a number and its opposite are less than a given quantity, its absolute value is less than the given quantity. Don't even need to know if the number is positive or negative, that's why you have to swap the sign. Okay, so using these three facts, we're going to prove the triangle inequality. So we're gonna fix two real numbers, x and y. We're going to note that the absolute that x is less than its absolute value and y is less than its absolute value. Add those two inequalities together, and what we have is x plus y is less than or equal to the right-hand side of the triangle inequality. Similarly, take negatives and add. Well, use the other property. Negative x is less than or equal to its absolute value and negative y is less than or equal to its absolute value. So adding those two gives you that the negative of x plus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. Combining these two statements, like our third statement in the previous slide, gives us our triangle inequality. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do. It's just, it's one of those things where if you see it, it's easy. If you don't see it, almost impossible to prove. So here we go. For all x and y in R, the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. Proof. Fix x and y in R. Then, x is less than its absolute value and y is less than its absolute value. Adding these gives us x plus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. Similarly, negative x is less than or equal to x and negative y is less than or equal to absolute value of y. Adding again gives us negative x plus y is less than or equal to x plus y in absolute value. So observing that x plus y and negative x plus y are less than or equal to the right-hand side of the triangle inequality, we have that the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. And that is our triangle inequality. Nice, clean proof. All right. So let's look at one possibility if you want to try something similar to this. 
the negative triangle inequality, it's a little bit more complicated to prove. But it says for every x and y, the difference of their absolute values is less than or equal to the absolute value of their difference. So pictorially, you can think about this. If, uh, if they have the same sign, uh, these are the same quantities, yet again. But if they have opposite signs, their difference is going to be like, you have zero, and then you have, I guess this would be the positive one from your point of view and the negative ones are rather far apart. But if we take the absolute value, remember here's zero, the negative one switches over to here. And now they're closer together. That's what this says, is that if you take the, if you have two things with opposite signs and you take their absolute value, they get closer together. That's all it says. And if they happen to already have the same sign, if they're both negative or both positive, they don't get further apart. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, any improvements, any changes you'd like to see, and I will see you in the next video.